Geology on Mars, Lesson 2.3, Gathering Additional Evidence from Models. Activity 2, Testing an Idea with the Flowing Water Model. Here is what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Chapter 2 question, how can we gather more evidence about whether lava or water formed the channel on Mars? Models help scientists learn about the processes that are difficult to observe directly such as processes that are happening far away, that happened in the past, or that are too fast or too slow to easily observe. Both computer models and physical models are useful for gathering evidence to investigate a scientific question. We used a flowing water model to get more evidence about what formed the channel on Mars. We observed that landforms formed by flowing water remain after the water stops. That means the channel on Mars could have been formed by flowing water, even though there's no flowing water there now. You compared the flowing water model with flowing water on Earth. How was the model similar to the geologic processes of flowing water on Earth? How was it different? You might respond that flowing water formed landforms that remained after the water stopped flowing. The flowing water model only contains sand, but the Earth's geosphere contains many other different types of materials. Key Concept 5. Models represent the natural processes by investigated... Models represent the natural processes being investigated in important ways, but they are not exactly the same. Notice that the flowing water model is similar to the geologic process of flowing water in the natural world in important ways but not exactly the same. When scientists use a model to understand a geologic process, they often have new questions afterwards. Today, we will use the flowing water model again to look at how steep hillsides might affect how channels form. You can find the observation sheets in the materials folder for the lesson. The stream tables are slanted to show how water flows downhill in the natural world. You will use two stream tables in a model to test an idea about water flowing downhill. When water flows down a hill, how do you think the steepness of the hill might affect the channel formed by the water? We generated an idea about how steepness will affect the channel. Record the idea we'll test using the stream tables. You should record or remember your idea for later reference. Let's brainstorm some ways to change the flowing water model. How can we set up and change the conditions of the two stream tables to test our idea? Remember, we want to test the idea about whether the steepness of the land affects how flowing water forms channels. How could we set up the two stream tables? Some options include propping up one stream table at 5 centimeters and another at 10 centimeters so we can compare the channels the flowing water forms or leaving one stream table completely flat and propping the other table up so we can compare the channels that form when the water flows over flat land versus a downhill slope. Record how we'll set up the two stream tables differently to test your idea. You should record or remember the information about the setup. If you don't have access to the stream tables at home, predict what you will think will happen or, if you can set up something similar at home, like a garden hose and dirt, or other method, you can test your idea. What did you observe as you tested your idea? Did the evidence you gathered from the flowing water model support the idea you were testing? If you have a digital partner, share your results. Review these key concepts about models. Scientists can use models to test their ideas and get evidence about processes in the natural world that are difficult to observe. Models represent the natural processes being investigated in important ways, but they are not exactly the same. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on.